Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just want to do a little overview for you of some Christmas decorating using dollar store items. That way you can see that you can use dollar store items, whether it's Dollar Tree, Dollarama, or Dollar Store Plus, whatever you have around you, and it can still look really good. I know a lot of YouTubers buy a lot of dollar store stuff, but you don't necessarily see them use them. So we're just going to do a quick little overview of some of the items I have already and what we've put up so far. So I'm going to start off with these Buffalo Check placemats. These came from Dollar Tree, and I believe they still have them. I did buy them about two years ago. The red truck is Canadian Tire. The buffalo plaid candle in the back is Bath and Body Works. And the lanterns I actually made out of the Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And the greenery around the outside is from Dollarama. Okay, moving on to the couch. The blanket is from Red Apple. The pillow cover is Dollar Tree and the insert is actually Amazon. On the console table, we're going to go through this real quickly. The boxes I actually uh, made using Dollar Tree items. So it's just the little wood boxes. They're like the little shadow boxes. And I just inserted it backwards, put a bow and some of the vase filler on top and it looks like a cute little present. The pillar candles, the actual pillars themselves are made out of the Dollar Tree candlesticks. I just glued them together, added the pillar candles, which I got from Factory Direct, and some of the um, red and white garland, also Dollar Tree. The picks on the bottom, also Dollar Tree. The Merry Christmas came from Dollarama, and the tree in the back was Dollarama. And I just did the exact same thing on this side, so it is completely equal. So down here on the bottom, the garland at the bottom is from Dollarama. The um, deers, those are from Dollar Tree, and those candlesticks are also Dollar Tree. Now the gnomes are from, I believe, Kirkland's, but I know they don't match. I just didn't really have a safe place to put them so they didn't break, so I just left. And an overview of the TV stand and fireplace. The stockings were from Target. And all the little Christmas Village items are from mainly Dollar Tree, except for about two of them, which are a little bit older that I had just from past, from the past. I'm not entirely sure where they came from. I've had them for a long time. Okay, and now we are gonna go through the Christmas tree. So the topper came from the Superstore last year on clearance. I got it for $5. They still have them and they are 15 now. The peace sign came from the Dollar Tree. The fuzzy little wood, or sorry, the fuzzy little um, snowballs, those came from Dollar Tree. Uh, what else? Um, it's kind of hard to go through all of these. I'm sure you all have seen these before. The white bells, I have them all over. This buffalo plaid bulb, that came from Dollar Tree, I believe last year. Same with this owl. Of course, the buffalo plaid bows, those are Dollar Tree. This was handmade with an ostrich egg. Same with this one here. We have another owl up here, another bell, the snowman hats. Now this Rudolph sign, you're gonna see a bunch of these on the tree, I actually made these. So it's just jute twine, the baker's twine, also some of the plain wood beads, the chalkboard tags, and also the white letters, I just used the white marker you can find in the craft section at Dollar Tree. This little white truck that came from Target. Another red bulb also from Dollar Tree. That was from uh, I think a couple years ago actually. This um, cat ornament came from Shein. This star Dollar Tree. This star here I actually made using the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks, the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint, and also Dollar Tree wood cutouts, and I just painted those white, glued them all together, added some jute twine. This owl Dollar Tree. Now you're gonna also see a bunch of these on the tree. This here is just the um, curtain hooks for the shower curtains and some vase filler, some ribbon, and I just wrapped it all around, glued it all together, and made pretty little wreaths. 
Then we have the white snowflakes, or icicles, white icicles. You're gonna see a bunch of those on the tree as well. Those are also Dollar Tree. I just lost an ornament here, sorry. Okay, we're just gonna take it off and I'll fix that later. So again, there's another one of those sign tags, whatever you'd like to call them, which I made. Another snowball, a bell. This star, also from Dollar Tree. There's another um, snowman hat. These are also Dollar Tree. You're gonna see a couple of those on here. Another sign. Santa hat and bell. Um, and this here came from Bronner's. Another owl, again, Dollar Tree. So like I said, a majority of this stuff is Dollar Tree or at least made it using Dollar Tree items. If you have any questions about any of these things, let me know. The joy sign is Dollar Tree. Some of these turn, I, you can't help it. The little red truck there are the little packs of cutouts that they um, sell usually around this time of year. I think you get six in the pack. They're usually just plain wood. I painted that and just put it in the tree. There's another star, another bell, more signs, snowman hat. This little church back here also came from Target. Another star, that one came this year, an owl. Another little wreath. So yeah, lots of dollar store items. So, you know, don't be shy when you see those Dollar Tree items because either you can change them up and make them exactly how you want them or use them as is. As long as you're happy with them, it doesn't matter. So I wanted to do like a more woodland style Christmas tree or buffalo plaid farmhouse, whatever you would like to call this. Oh, and the tree skirt I got from Amazon. And the Christmas tree itself was from two years ago and I got that from Canadian Tire. So I hope that helps to give, to give you some ideas using Dollar Tree items or any dollar store stuff. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will get back to you and I'll try and answer it the best that I can. But that's gonna be everything for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.